Hello, I'm Todd Mattis. I'm a luthier here at Char Music, and today I'm going to be answering uh, Google's most request. Answer most. Hi, I'm Todd Mattis, and I'm a luthier here at Char Music, and today I'm going to be answering uh, Google's most search questions for luthiers. Okay, so I'm going to look for the first question here, which is, what are luthiers? Luthiers are people who. Uh, work on string instruments or build string instruments for repair and making new and production and all the steps involved. The luthier could also be the, historically a person who sold instruments. And the word comes from the word loot, meaning loot maker. So anybody making string instruments is sort of a loot maker. And it's branched into all these other instruments. Guitar makers and violin makers are typically referred to as luthiers. So let's see what the next question is. What tools does a luthier probably maybe use? Let's see. Need. Well, you need quite a few specialized tools. Um, some of the most common ones are for working uh, with the sound post and setting up the bridge and whatnot. So you have a mirror and a sound post setter and rulers to position things. And then if you're doing cracks and things like that, you're gonna need special clamps and chisels and gouges and all that. If you're gonna make instruments, you, the shop needs to get a lot more elaborate with some woodworking equipment of various sorts, drill press and saws and routing machines these days are very typically used. But the hand tools that are used to work on it, your violin, say if it's brought in to make a new bridge or adjust the sound post are, are very simple, small tools, but they are specialized to violin making. Okay, the next question is, what is the most common instrument repair? Most common instrument repair probably is the seam opening around the plates, the sides, and back. Could either be the back or the top. Typically the top is the one that's gonna come loose. And that's a, uh, not at all unusual in a violin, or a viola, or cello, or bass, but it is, be a disaster in a guitar. That would be considered impossible, but it's sort of supposed to happen with a violin. And instead of uh, the instrument cracking, the pot, the seams will pop before that will happen. Hopefully. Question. And it's what is the varnish luthiers use? What is the varnish luthiers use made out of? Well, that that's a complicated question. Um, many people have their own special formula for this or that reason. Um, and then there's the question of should the violin be varnished with alcohol varnish or oil varnish? And the big difference is alcohol varnish is always resoluble in alcohol. It can be melted at any time. Al uh, oil varnish is no longer soluble once it dries. And so those two properties are kind of important in dealing with. And the instruments that I produce, I varnish them with an oil varnish, which is made from resins that are made to, with a drying agent added, specifically linseed oil and the drying agent. And then, uh, I coat them or varnish them again with spirit varnish, alcohol varnish, which I then French polish. Okay, we can go on to the next question. Got a big, long, hidden part. What is the best varnish to use on instruments? Well, I kind of answered that. There's not a best varnish. If you want extreme clarity and you know you want to kind of backtrack, then using uh, spirit varnish would be a good way to do it. And if you do, if you know what you're going to do and you want it to last and be very durable, more durable possibly, you would use oil varnish, you could. You can achieve high durability with spirit varnish. There's nothing, nothing, no detractor there. Okay, another question here. What glue do luthiers use? Well, the instrument is made entirely with hide glue, which is a glue from boiled down animal parts. That glue is used, it's always been used, and it's used because the properties that it has are perfect for this instrument. It's extremely strong, and yet it's, it breaks in the right way. It gives up in the right direction, such as opening seams and things like that that allow the stresses to be released without cracking something. The glue is uh, likewise also used for the repairs on the instrument if you have a crack, for the same reasons. What is the best part about being a luthier? Well, for me, the best part is the craftsmanship of it, enjoying, that's something I enjoy doing, trying to make something that's rather difficult to do and make it exactly right is a 
mental game that's enjoyable to me. Um, craft in general, it's sort of a, uh, if you're into the, if you're just going to work on things all day long, you're going to get into the zone everybody wants to get into, or you hope you will. And so that is a, a very pleasant way to, I never went to work thinking, man, I got to go to work, it's Monday, oh, and bah, man, that's a drag. No, I never did that. And I always was ready to go in and fix a crack or set a neck or varnish a violin. So craft, if you like craft, it's a really neat way to make a living. It also led to a lot of travel, and that was a huge adventure for me. So I had a big adventure even as I was working away at a bench. What are the requirements to be a luthier? Well, the number one requirement is the training, which you can achieve either through being an apprentice in a good shop, or there are fully trained luthiers working, and you can learn from them. The other way is to go to school, and there are quite a number of them these days. Famous one in Salt Lake, another in Chicago, another one in Baltimore. It's a New England school. So those are things to look up if you're interested in U3. Um, they're very rigorous schools. Those ones I mentioned are all pretty serious programs. So you will come out a violin maker, or cello maker, you'll make them all. I don't think you make a bass, but you make everything else. And uh, <clears throat> that experience would be the most important way to to do it, to become a luthier, to have a title, to have a degree from one of those schools. But apprenticeship is still completely valid and I learned everything I learned on the job making, working with luthiers until I became one myself. So that is another way. Good luck with that. Thanks uh, very much for tuning in for these Most Asked Questions. This is Todd Madison at Char Music and I look forward to working on your instrument.